We'd read about uh, the Operation Christmas Child campaign, but we started by filling a shoebox, and then when I retired, I was looking for something to occupy my time, because I can't sit down and do nothing. So we got involved by start work in the warehouse, and from then on we got hooked. Some of the boxes were coming in a little bit thin on what I looked at as the fun things in the boxes, and I'm quite handy with wood. I could do that. Then at the end of that year's campaign, there was a, a number of pallets left over, and some of the uh, volunteers were going to take them and were going to burn the wood. And I thought, well, you can't burn wood, it's too good. So I cut out of the pallets, the usable wood, brought it home, and during the following year started making cars. <laughs> One of the things I've looked at when making toys is whether the quality of them is suitable. I've always worked on the system of if I wouldn't give it to my grandchildren, I wouldn't give it to these children. It's a personal thing which you give a shoebox which goes out to one particular child. So it's from you to that child and not only it spreads a gift of love, but it tells them the love of God towards these children.